she's crazy. That's what I heard. Just plain crazy. Something's got to change. Because we keep doing the same thing over and over. And our church is dying. Stay put or you'll be eating takeout for a week. I'm retired. And I really want to spend the rest of my life just, just writing. God's gifted you with a pastor's heart. I don't care what goes down today. I'm voting no, no, no. Your work here on earth is done. And there's a wonderful place waiting for you. She will be our pastor. Wait just a minute. With all due respect to the current situation, our bylaws state that the vote must be unanimous. And I still vote N-O. given by the hand of God, but he kissed it before he gave it to us. You know what I thought when I first saw you out here? What? You were out here trying to hide from the world, just you and your animals. Well, I'm gonna tell you something about animals. They'll always make you laugh. They're relaxing and you know what? They're even comforting. Comforting, mm -hmm. huh? Mm -hmm. Well, are. come on, you pitiful thing. Let's sit down, you can tell me what's going on. Lynn, you can't let this church thing steal your joy. Your joy and your humor are a huge part of who you are. Mm. In fact, I find myself always waiting to see what you're going to say or do next to make me laugh. Maybe I'll charge you for the entertainment value. No, <laughs> but you should start setting aside a few bucks for the bail money you're probably oh, going to need someday. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> oh, seriously, Lynn, what's going on with this church thing? Well, I've got one deacon that thinks I'm two points below. You see that green stuff out there? The stuff from the geese. No, oh, you bozo the grass. Oh, oh. He thinks I'm two <laughs> points below plant life, except I'm white. Honest to Pete, where do you come up with these things? Call it genius. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Deacon Spires, he's a gentleman. And I think he's wise. Deacon Raglan, he wins the blue ribbon in the sugar puss category. You know, you just want to squeeze him. He's so sweet. Uh, yeah. Well, Mama's got two. Mama's got. Yeah, she's precious. And Mary Hall, I like her. Mm. You know, I think she and I could be good friends. And then there's Deacon Hall. <laughs> Only one stinker in the bunch. Sounds like reasonable odds reasonable odds with an unacceptable outcome. Because Maddie, there'd always be fighting. There'd always be this war going on, not just in the church, but in the whole household, and it'll be my fault. Some wars have to be fought, Lynn, in order to win somebody's freedom. When did you get so wise? Two questions. Ay, ay, ay. What is God saying to you? And is he big enough to win a war that was going to mean freedom for his people? Freedom from so many binding traditions of men. You know, I hate you. I hate you too. Mm. Come on, let's go get some tea. <gasps> Come on, leave the geese to themselves. Oh, stop looking so forlorn. Just walk it out. I thought you said the Lord softened your heart towards idea. Yeah, but you just don't know since I stepped back from ministry that I so enjoy my writing time and the peace and the quiet out here. I just, and it's away from all the problems. You think Jesus stayed away from problems? <laughs> I know you're right, but, but seriously, Maddie, I've had such intimacy out here. 
with the Lord and I feel his presence on this land. I mean, how do I give that up? You don't. You keep coming back to it. You get filled up here. You go out there and minister and you come right back here and get filled up again. You're right. You're right. Come on. Let's mm. take that walk. It won't be long before you do something stupid and I can get back to laughing. And it won't be long before I can get back to charging you for the entertainment value. <laughs> Come on. <laughs>